families of Cahaba Heights, I just wanted to touch base with all of you and give you a little update about some of the th great things that are happening around our school. As you know, we are approaching that nine week mark and so in this nine weeks it has been packed full already. And we are so excited that our school was honored with the Bicentennial School of Excellence Award. We are one of 23 schools that were selected from the 200 that were chosen last year. And this was all about our partnership, community partnership, with the Cahaba River and our service learning project about that. So we're excited today that we'll be honored at the board meeting um, to share a little bit more about that project. But I wanted you to know that, that big sign out front, Bicentennial School of Excellence, is really um, Part, partly because of your efforts and your kids' efforts and certainly our teachers too in learning about the Cahaba River and also making a great effort to go and do the cleanup last year. So we're going to continue some more things in that partnership and you'll hear more about that soon. I also wanted to remind you that tomorrow morning is our annual walk to school day and that's an opportunity for you to drop off your kids just right down the street at Murphy's Market and we all walk to school together in groups and it's a really fun day and just a, an opportunity for us to celebrate being a walkable community which we love. Speaking of walkers, as you know, um, based on my email I sent a couple of weeks ago, we've been doing some investigating and kind of checking in on all that's been going with our walkers in the afternoon in particular. Um, we've had some reports from community members just about the safety of our kids, particularly down at the light by Martin's Barbecue. And you know, there's only about 25 to 30 kids that cross over that intersection, but it is a very busy intersection. And so my plea to parents is kind of move in closer if you can, um, so that you're able to grab your kids before they get to that light. But I've been talking with our superintendent and also the police officers in the area to try to get their support and help um, with this, um, because we really are concerned about the safety of our kids. So what we've started doing is having a police officer that's willing to hold the traffic for a few minutes to get kind of that group of kids across at one time. So unfortunately that means that those kids that are crossing that street don't really need to make stops along the way, which I know they're used to doing and I know they don't like that change, but really their safety comes first. And so if your kiddo wants to be one that stops at Murphy's or stops into Martin's and gets some ice water, which is so kind of those community members to do for our kids, um, then that's great. But just know that we are going to take the kids across the street in one group together. And we just feel like, based on what the police feedback has been, that that's the safest route for our kids. So if you're meeting them at the park or beyond, your kids will be going down as a group and crossing as a group with the police officer down there. I uh, just wanted to update you on that change uh, so you can make arrangements with your kids if you need them to stop off and make any stops on the way. I also wanted to let you know that you should have received some information from your child's homeroom teacher because we do have parent-teacher conferences coming up and we have made it available for parents to be able to come in that Thursday afternoon and or Friday morning because um, I know some of you are heading out of town for that long weekend. But we just wanted to make that an option for you so that you could hear about all the wonderful ways that your child has been learning so far this nine weeks. In addition to that, on the, uh, the 10th, uh, October 10th, we have um, an opportunity for you to come in and meet with a police officer who can give you an update on social media and some of the apps that are safe or not so safe for our kiddos. So on Thursday, October 10th, you are invited to come from 12 to 1230 and hear a little update. Followed by that, at 1240, we will be having our Rebel Rally for this nine weeks. This is a celebration of learning that we do four or five times a year, and this will be an opportunity for each grade level to be celebrated in unique ways, thinking about how they have learned without limits this nine weeks. So you are welcome to join us, any parents welcome. We'd love for you to come at 12 and stay for the Rebel Rally at 1240, but you can come to one or both if you like. So make plans to attend if you can. 
Um, I think, based off of my notes here, that that's all of the updates for you. But as you know, there's a lot of ways that you can get involved, and we love your partnership. So feel free to hop over to PTO and make sure that you are involved in all the ways that you can be, because um, there's parents here every day doing a variety of different things, and we cannot thank you enough for all that you do for our school, for our teachers and staff, and certainly for our kiddos. Thanks, and have a great day.